NumPy package provides basic functions for manipulating large arrays and matrices of numerical data. The SciPy package extends the functionality of NumPy. To be specific, SciPy is a library that uses NumPy for more mathematical functions. SciPy uses NumPy's arrays as the basic data structure and comes with modules for various commonly used tasks, such as linear algebra, integration, ordinary differential equations, and signal processing. In this video, we will use SciPy linear algebra modules to show you some commonly used linear algebra functions. First thing first, we need to import NumPy and also we need to import the linear algebra from SciPy module. So let me show you how to solve a linear system uh, by using the solve function. So let's say, for example, we have a NumPy array. Um, That we have um, three, two, and one, minus one. This is the equation. And then we have the, the first equation is the equals to two, and the second equation is equal to four. And then beside D. And then we can use the linear algebra function, which is called dot solve to solve the this linear equation. So here is the results. Here, because we have two equation and two unknown. So we have a uh, perfect solutions, but sometimes we might come across a uh, linear system that have a uh, unbalanced uh, unknown n equation. So uh, let's say, for example, we have a uh, four negative five. Eight. And then in that case, um, the dog solve functions cannot help you to solve the problems because the input um, needs to be a square matrix here. In order to for us to solve this problem, we need to use the least square approximation. So here we can simply change it to change the solve to d square and see is the result. Now you can see this is the optimal result when we have the uh, unbalanced equation and unknown. So right here we have the uh, three equations and two unknown. And the result is best fit. So um, on the other hand, we can actually have more unknown than the equations. And the linear algebra functions right here can also help you to solve the problems by using the least square approximation. Apart from solving the linear system, we can also use these um, linear algebra functions uh, modules to solve some, uh, to compute some uh, inverse determinants or the p inverse. So let's say, for example, we would like to have the inverse of these. A, here I just change this to a capital A, um, which means uh, matrix.
and we can also compute determinants of this A. And when the matrix is not a square matrix, we can also use the P inverse to compute the generalized inverse. The linear algebra modules also provide functions um, to calculate norm. So change it to a vector, show you how to calculate norm here. So say for example, we calculate the L2 norm, which provide you the uh, ordinary distance uh, from the or origins to the point three four right here. So five is the result. And then we can also calculate the L1 norm, which um, provide you the longest distance travel from the origin to the point of B4 right here. And we can also calculate the uh, L infinity norm. So by providing the NumPy infinity, so which give you the um, largest magnitude within the uh, each of the vector. And under this vector, um, four is the largest value. In this linear algebra uh, modules, we can also perform matrix uh, decomposition. Say, for example, we have a one, two, three, four matrix, and one, two, decompose this matrix. So we have a lambda eigen, uh, should be the eigenvalue and also the eigenvector. So this lambda is the eigenvalue and V is the eigenvector. Here's the typo. So these are the eigenvalue and these are the eigenvector. We can also apply uh, the singular value decomposition here when we have a long square matrix. So for example, we have these long square matrix and then we want to use the uh, sing singular value decomposition. Here the function is SVD. So the U here is the left singular vector and VH um, is the right um, singular vector. So this small capital letter S is just an array of the singular value. So in order for you to calculate, uh, to have the singular uh, matrix, we need to use the another functions. which is the linear algebra here, diagonal SVD. Here we input the shape of the, uh, of the original matrix, of original matrix um, before the singular value decomposition. And then we just um, put in the diagonals matrix for this uh, for this singular um, for singular matrix. So 
Uh, let me show you the singular matrix. So the singular value array has been put inside this singular matrix. And you can use the dot product to get back the results um, for the A. But I'm not going to show here. And that's it. I hope you have a better understanding of the linear algebra modules in SciPy. Um, thank you for watching.